Hi everyone, Mr. Ahmed here. Uh, so in this video I'm going to go over the maths crossword uh, on 3D shapes. Now first I'm going to go over how you solve a crossword. So if you'll notice you have the clues. Um, now you've got clues which go down and clues which go across. Let's begin with down. It says this shape has six rectangular faces and you'll see that in brackets there's a number. That number indicates how many letters there are in the answer. So what shape has six rectangular faces? The answer is cuboid. So uh, it goes down because it's on, this, on the downside. So look at number one which is over here. Then you go down and it goes down six for cuboid. C-U-B-O-I-D. Uh, let's do one more. So this one is three down where two faces meet so find three with it going down, um, that is an edge. So E, D, G, E. Okay, now I'm going to quickly go through all of the clues. Um, so listen carefully for the answers and then transfer it onto the uh, crossword. Hopefully you'll remember the answers, thereby acquiring knowledge. This shape has six rectangular faces, that is a cuboid. Um, a cube has all square faces, a cuboid has rectangular faces, but they have the same amount of vertices and edges. Where two faces meet, so that is an edge, for example, in a cube. Uh, so, as you can see, two squares meet here, so that makes an edge. Uh, a square over here, a square over here, and they meet, and that makes the edge. This shape has eight triangular faces. Okay, question number four, uh, going down. This shape has eight triangular faces, so that would be an octahedron. Octa meaning eight, um, often, like octagon. This shape has two circular faces, that is a cylinder, because it has um, two, one circle at the top and one circle at the bottom. Five, six, seven, eight, yep, seven letters. Uh, this 2D surface, this is the 2D surface of a 3D shape. So these surfaces, they are called a face. Um, the 2D, so this is um, referring to only one of them. So you say face rather than faces. Uh, a corner of a shape, the corner of a shape. So these bits here, these corners are called vertices. And um, because it's referring to only one, a corner, we're going to we refer to it as a vertex. Um, number 10 down, a 3D shape where the cross section is the same all along its length. So the answer to number 10 is prism. Um, a prism is often a, uh, a shape where, the, where two faces are the same, so the top and the bottom face are the same and it has this elongated bit. So it's called a triangular prism. Uh, other ones include hexagonal prism. Um, and what it means by a 3D shape where the cross section is the same all the length is length. What that means is if you made a cross section here along its length or here along its length, doesn't matter where you make a cross section, um, you'll, still get this, um, you'll still get a triangular prism. So it still keeps this shape no matter where you make a cross section along its length um, however that, so that means that if you did it along its width then it wouldn't necessarily work it must be along its length now let's have a look at the clues across number two across this shape has six square faces four letter word the word is so number two across c u b e cube uh, this shape has a square base and triangular sides um, So that would be a square base pyramid or you can call it just a regular pyramid seven letters P P Y R A M I D One two three four five six seven The word for more than one vertex, so in other words, the plural version of vertex, which is vertices. 
Uh, number nine, this shape has no vertices, uh, so that would be a sphere, because in a sphere it's perfectly round and no edges meet to make anything sharp, uh, so it has no vertices. Finally, this shape has one circular face, uh, that would be a cone, uh, and there is your one circular face at the bottom.